Welcome back to CBS This Morning. If you're just joining us, we've been covering the Dallas sniper shootings all morning long. Five police officers have been killed in an ambush during peaceful demonstrations last night. Seven other officers and two civilians were wounded. The city's mayor tells CBS This Morning three suspects are in custody and a fourth suspect is dead. We are now awaiting a news conference in Dallas with the city's mayor and police chief. We will bring that to you live as it happens in a special report. As we wait for that, former chief Washington correspondent and Face the Nation moderator Bob Schieffer uh, is from Texas, grew up there. He started as a reporter there more than half a century ago. Bob is now a CBS News contributor. He is in Washington. Bob, it is, it is good to see you. Um, uh, I know we're still waiting for a lot of information here, Bob. As, as you know, uh, we'll go to this report when it happens. But what, what do you make of what, what you've seen so far? Well, I think uh, what the mayor is going to say in this news conference uh, is going to be very, very important because what's happened here, uh, Jeff, is different than any of these recent uh, violent events that we, we have been uh, talking about. This was not a random act by some deranged person. This was a carefully planned military-style operation. This was a classic ambush where the ambushers put their shooters on the high ground, surrounded a certain place, and then let their prey walk into their line of fire. They were also very good shots. These were people that knew how to use these weapons. Uh, we know that by the, by the accuracy, by the uh, number of police officers uh, that were shot. They were obviously uh, shooting at police. They were not shooting at the protesters. Uh, and they were uh, successful, obviously. Twelve people were shot, five police officers are dead. The question now is, who are these people? Is this some kind of organized group? Could it be terrorists? The Dallas mayor has said already this morning that he is not ruling out anything as to what the motive is or how these, or who these people are. So as we begin to identify these shooters, we'll have a better idea of uh, what their motivation was. This may be tied to some of the police shootings we have been seeing uh, around the country. It may be something entirely different. Those are the things that we, we will uh, hope to find out more about uh, when the uh, Dallas officials hold this news conference. Yeah, we've been going on hours now. Still don't have a ton of information, Bob. But I, I want to ask you, because I think you provide such great perspective covering so many events over the last 60 years, the civil rights movement, JFK's assassination, Vietnam. Can you put into context the type of divisiveness we're seeing in this country and the rhetoric we're seeing? Well, I think one thing uh, uh, that we uh, uh, overlook, uh, Jamie, is our culture is changing. I don't think there's any question about that. We are becoming a less patient society. Uh, we are becoming a more demanding society. Uh, for want of a better word, we're becoming a ruder society. And we see this playing out uh, in road rage, in the way we treat one another. Uh, there's just uh, almost uh, people, nobody is satisfied with anything now. People are dissatisfied, they're frustrated. And, and they uh, act out on these things. And when you put those who are deranged into the mix uh, and they have access to these very powerful weapons of war, it just makes the stakes even higher. Uh, there's no excuse for the, some of the police shootings that we, we have been seeing. Police are shooting first and asking questions later. But on the other hand, uh, you have to remember that the police are scared, too, of these weapons. Right. Uh, that is why they are on such a hair trigger now. It's going to take great training, uh, and we're going to have to have more of it for our police departments around the country. The ironic thing, and I, th I think uh, Scott Pelley uh, talked about this earlier, the Dallas Police Department is a very good police department. They've been very transparent. They put emphasis on community policing. Uh, the mayor, Mike Rollins, uh, I know him personally. He, he's a very upstanding guy. He is very forward thinking. Uh, he enjoys very bipartisan support from both Republicans and Democrats in Dallas. 
uh, it, it is somewhat ironic that this would happen in, of all places, uh, Dallas, uh, where their police department has done such a good job. But again, I go back to this. We do not yet know what the motivation of these shooters is. This may be something totally unrelated. Probably not, but it could be something totally unrelating, uh, unrelated to some of these police shootings that we've been seeing across the country. This might be... Uh, the work of terrorists. We're going to find out eventually, but right now we simply don't know. Until we do find out, Bob, the fact is, is that the anger in this country really does seem to be at a tipping point, and that is a very, very scary feeling, I'm sure, for a lot of people that woke up this morning to this news. Based on well, your experience, what do lawmakers need to do to finally turn this corner? Well, nobody knows the answer to this because there are so many things that this is so complex, but you're exactly right. We wake up each morning uh, wondering what could happen today that is worse than what happened yesterday. I'm now told that we're going now, uh, the mayor is coming out, we're going now to that uh, special report. Let's go directly there.